Hey, look at this dude. He just, uh, remembered he left the oven on. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Knights of Honor 2 Sovereign. It's not very often that we get to experience a brand new grand strategy game, and today it's one of those lucky days. That's right, Knights of Honor 2, which has kindly sponsored this video today. So Knights of Honor 2 will be available on December 6th, probably when this video is out. So if you want to go ahead and have a look at it or play it yourself, just click my link down below now. And we will be testing out single player today, but there is online co-op and PvP game modes for you to try out. Alright, now Knights of Honor 2 is very unique in its gameplay, and I'll show more of that when we get into the actual game. But for now, we need to actually pick who we want to play as, and what time period we're gonna roll into. Oh, uh, the Byzantine Empire's not looking, um... Well, in existence in 1224 here, but we do have the Latin Empire. Hindsight has told me that the Latin Empire also did not last too long. Hey, you know what? 1110. We're gonna go with that, and we're gonna go ahead and give England a go. There are several ways to state your supremacy all over other kingdoms and attain victory, claiming the title Emperor of the World. Okay, we're a few hundred years off uh, the, the UK really going for the global domination game. Ah, yes. Here we are in the beautiful kingdom of England. Look at all those little peasants going about their hard labor. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Pope's already getting on my case about handing money over for the crusade, but 600 monies right now is quite a lot for poor old England. Uh, can we please take a bit of a rain check, Mr. Pope? Alright, so before we get into consolidating the British Isles, which of course we will have to do, I should probably get around to actually making a functioning economy. So the noble, uh, nation, quote-unquote, of Champagne wants us to help them against Flanders. <laughs> do I really really want to get involved in the continent more than I already am right now. I guess in this period of time, England was invested in the continent, very sadly. <laughs> the Hollanders are angry. Uh, we no longer have the strongest army. We've been overtaken by society. <laughs> you know, I think that's completely acceptable by the fact that currently my army consists of nothing but peasants. All right, we've got the peasants ready and trained and we're gonna go for a bit of a kerfuffle. A kerschnuffle. But as I always say, Say, the Rambler tried. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, accidentally an uh, entered France right there. I should know. See, Daisy, they're not happy. Okay, they have a much larger army than I do, but I might give it. A I might give it a go anyway. Uh, okay, this was saying that I'm about to lose pretty, uh, pretty, pretty heavily. Hey, you know what? I'll lead the battle myself. So yeah, cool thing about Knights of Honor is that we could just, you know, leave the battle to fight on its own like any other grand strategy game, or we can go ahead and do it ourselves. Where are all the boys? Look at them. Uh, <laughs> well trained and ready for battle. Right, so in terms of actual battlefield units here, we're almost equal, and they are sending two units over here on the flank. Uh, three units uh, that just merged in there, and uh, they've got three units on this other flank. So what I'm thinking is, we just rush one of them. We're just gonna we're gonna move the units up right here and hopefully intercept these guys and do something before the guys on the right get a chance to do anything back. <laughs> didn't didn't quite get that off in time. They they overwhelmed my uh, my vanguard over there and uh, the battle over here is over. So that was a, uh, a tactical withdrawal and we're now, okay, we're withdrawing back into the French. They, uh, they are really not gonna be too happy with me. Uh, looks like there is an army from Belgium around the coastline looking for somewhere to land. Oh, they landed. I won't lie, I'm not too certain where they're actually going. Looks like we pieced out the war anyway. Um, <laughs> so now they're just kind of having a stroll around the countryside of England. Now, I have raised quite the large army, uh, which I'm gonna have to put to use somewhere, and I think it may be Wales. Uh, hold on a second, I accepted something, and now I guess I'm going to war with Ireland. Okay, so I did go ahead and recruit some new units. Uh, I got some archers and some swordsmen. But that is a level 15 general, uh, and his entire army is archers. I think I should probably be a little bit terrified. Okay, there's even more of them, you know? I sh I don't think Ireland's for me, you know? <laughs> okay, so this is just the smaller army that's attacking me right now, but I need to beat these guys and get the hell out. <laughs> the level 15 general. 
cool guy just appeared. <laughs> no, he, he's literally called King Don Chad. King Don Chad's about to mess me up. Okay, I, I ran my other troops, my peasants, over to the point to capture it. And I what? Did I capture him? Who did I capture? I, okay, I don't think I got Don Chad, but I got someone. Okay, yeah, the army's not looking too good, though. We should uh, we should get out of here while we still can. Oh, that other army's gonna capture me. Okay. Oh, okay, we just got out of there. <laughs> okay, we're taking our prisoner and we're getting the hell. Baron Gilmer! <laughs> Hold on, excuse me? Oh, no. I probably, I probably should have given the Pope that money. <laughs> oh, okay. I think I did kill the king in that battle as well. Um, that is pretty good. Uh, I didn't even realize because uh, the screen just immediately faded out as soon as I killed him. I fi oh, they're on the move. But uh, as soon as I killed him, uh, the battle ended. So I assumed I captured the point, but I think I did just kill the king, uh, which is a little bit odd. Uh, but hey, Baron Adam slayed Don Chad. Hey, I mean, 1400 gold for this guy. Uh, he's really not that great. Um, and I, I did beat him beforehand, so you know, I'm gonna accept that for now. Uh, take the money and build a bigger army. Hey, they dare raid my land. They have not heard of the tale of Baron Adam, the slayer of Don Chan. <laughs> I did it again. I just rushed the king. <laughs> All right, just uh, got the actual king this time in the dungeon where he belongs. <laughs> we both need that white piece. I think that only one of us is in the dungeon right now. And find a tactic in just rushing their generals, or at least in this time, their general did rush me. Because uh, as soon as you do it, I'm pretty sure the battles do tend to end. So I'm just gonna, you know, there you go. Boom. Got another one! Did back to Ireland, and this time it looks like uh, Dublin's getting sieged down by rebels right now. <laughs> well, I'll see what happens if I just let the AI uh, run the battle, and hopefully they don't die. Uh, yeah, I'm currently putting all of my uh, my trust in you right now. Please don't lose to the rebels. So I went ahead and uh, I, I saved before and before I did this. I accepted the peace from Ireland because I don't really uh, want to go over there just yet. Um, for a few reasons. Uh, so we, we've white pieced out, whatever, we had our fun, and now we get to reap the rewards of selling all of the people in our dungeon. And, uh, yep, yeah, we have quite a few people in here. Uh, so yeah, these guys are all gonna add up to a pretty penny. Probably not the, the rebel art. Um, martial art, he's... Uh, nobody loves it, but then I can take all of the gold that we have earned from that and start upgrading the country. There you go, so I sold the other prince that I had and got another 1600 and the coffers are filling up. So I'm going to go ahead and do the amber trade down here too, which will make us even more money. Uh, so I still want to go ahead and get whales, but uh, the problem is they did form a defensive pact against me with quite a few people. So uh, it's just been uh, put back for now, but once I come back, don't you worry, I'll definitely come back for them. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, quit. No, I just got out of the war with them. I kidnapped them like five times and sold them back. I'm, no, not this time around. Uh, all right, when you say trade agreement, Leinster, uh, you please don't tell me you mean I capture your people and then in return you trade me gold. Uh, maybe we'll just trade normal stuff from now on. Oh, uh, also, uh, the king just died. And now we've got uh, King William of Winchester. I'm still more of a fan of uh, Baron Adam, uh, the slayer of Don Chad. Uh, bad news, the Pope has died. Uh, funnily enough, I kind of thought he uh, died a while back anyway, but no, I guess he's back on the map. Okay, I'm just looking at the map now. Looks like France is um, <laughs> going east, the migrating. Rematch against my arch nemesis of Flanders. Don't mind if I do, King Gaiso. Uh, well, before I even got my army down to the coast to invade them, looks like they're coming to me. And uh, now this technically is a siege, but I think I may have slightly interrupted the plan here by bringing Adam, <laughs> the slave of Don Chad along to just beat the army up before it got a chance to siege. They really stood much of a chance there, uh, but they did give it their best shot. But this is all, as you remember, 
Simply revenge for the start of the game. They've turned back up for a second try, I see. Uh, Baron Adam, sire of Don Chat, just ex exited Canterbury, and they have, um, second-guessed their choices there. <sighs> Looks like they're back for more. Oh, uh, yeah, he really just landed with peasants. Uh, they, this ain't gonna go too well for you. My brand new recruited cavalry divisions. <laughs> it's an actual slaughter. <laughs> I really want to get a siege watch going too, but it is a lot of money. Uh, so I'm gonna save up a bit for now because I want to get some, uh, catapults going so I can actually do some sieges. No, <laughs> Pope's demanding money. How do I tell him I can't give him 1800 because I'm saving up for a trebuchet? The time has come up for our sweetest revenge against Flanders. He really wants me to attack France, but I'm going to be real view. That does not sound like a good idea, old man. Bruges, but I just realized it just flipped to rebels. Are the rebels gonna go siege me down in England? The, the Pope is always trying to hustle me out of some money, and this time around, fine, okay? I have a lot of money. You can take my money. Go wild. There we go. We've peaced out with the Belgians and got our control over Bruges, which uh, we're here attempting to um, crush and disorder over there, and Destroy the rebels. I just realized we're having a crusade against Hungary. That's where all my money went, eh? Uh, I'm not too sure how this has happened, but I'm at war with France. That little 15 army? Uh oh, I think that might be the king. Uh, let's go have a closer look. Oh, yeah, that is definitely the king. And he has some very beefy units, I just saw. Uh, those are some crossbowmen. And, uh, some heavy archers. I should probably watch myself. Hey, when you're outgunned, uh, we're gonna do the simple tactic of rushing King Felipe. Whoa! It always works! Did it take me, like, uh, five restarts of that battle before I managed to get lucky enough to capture him? But yes, yes, I did it! And, you know, we could carry on, beat the French, 100%, like, siege them down, and all their terrible units that are definitely not better than mine, um... Actually, these ones aren't actually better than mine. Sure, could we turn up in Paris and burn it to the ground? Easy peasy. Aaron Adam would have no problem with that at all. But for now, I think there is only one reasonable thing for us to do, and that is to execute the King of France. There we go. Oh, I got an achievement. Kingslayer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind what I do. All right, but anyway, that was just a little look at Knights of Honor 2. I had a lot of fun playing it, and uh, I think a lot of you guys will probably enjoy it too. The mix between Grand Strategy and RTS is definitely a very fun combination that no other game really does on this scale, uh, especially with just how much you can do in this game. I mean, I did not get into the half of it, the trading, the building, the economics, everything called the dynasty and the diplomacy. I mostly focused on the warfare. Uh, I think it really is a game that genuinely just takes like all your favorite parts from all your different grand strategy games and like whacks them all into one pretty like easy manageable package that, um, uh, I'm not going to say it isn't simple, uh, it does simplify a lot of them, but it also makes them a lot of fun to play with because they are that easy to get into. Uh, but yeah, obviously this uh, is sponsored by uh, Knights of Honor 2, and if you want to go ahead and get yourself started with the game today, go ahead, click my link down below. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, hit the subscribe button down below, and if you want to see more in this, I obviously need to get a bit better at the game before I do any more videos, uh, but if you do want to see more, feel free to uh, let me know, because I would happily come back to this. But until next time, everyone, uh, click the link down below to get started. And thank you very much, Knights of Honor, for sponsoring this video.